All right, guys, unit nine, day two, day three, um, we're going to write the equation of a line from two points. So we gave you these two points. We gave you four, two, and we gave you negative two, negative four. Our goal today is to write the equation of a line. Remember, what equations of a line, first thing I'm going to do is write down y equals mx plus b. Just because I know when I'm all said and done, I want my equation to look um, in that form. Um, the first thing that I want to find is the rate of change. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. We know m equals change in y over change in x. We've been doing this all unit, so I'm going to subtract my y's. I'm going to, I'm going to do um, 2 minus a negative 4 on top. And on the bottom, I'm going to do 4 minus a negative 2. And get my parentheses in there. So let's see here. 2 minus negative 4 is 6. 4 minus negative 2 is also 6 because these both become pluses. And I'm going to get 1 for my m. So I know m is 1. So I know that m equals 1. So I'm halfway done. I still need to find out what b is. So this is where I'm going to use my y equals mx plus b formula. I'm going to use this and plug in everything that I know. Well, I know m is 1. So I know I'm going to plug in 1 for m. Right, and then I'm looking for b. I have no idea what b is, but I do know what y and x are. y and x, I can use either this 4, 2, or I could use the negative 2, negative 4. I'm going to go ahead and use the positives. They're easier to work with. So remember, this is always x, y. So x is my 4, y is my 2. So I'm going to plug those in. y is 2, so 2 equals, and x we just said is 4 plus b. Solve the equation. 2 equals 4 times 1 is 4 plus b. Get b all by itself here because that's what we're looking for. 2 minus 4 is negative 2 equals b. We just found out that b is negative 2. We already know that m is 1, so now we know what we need. We have what we need to write the equation number 1. The equation is y equals m would be 1, so 1x or just x plus b is a negative 2, so my equation is y equals x minus 2. All right, guys, for practice problem number 5, it's the same thing, except now we've given you a, a table. Um, so the first thing I do is that as soon as I say they want me to write down the equation, I'm going to write down the equation of a line. So y equals mx plus b. All right, and here's where I have to pick uh, just two coordinates. Um, I'm going to do the first two because um, I like easy numbers, and these look pretty easy to me. So I'm going to use these two right here, and I'm going to rewrite them off to the side um, as their coordinates. So this would be negative 1, 0, and this would be 3, 8. And so remember, the first step is to find out what m is. That's what we need to figure out first. So I write down my formula for slope, which is change in y over change in x. And I'm just going to take my y values, which is 0 and 8, and subtract them. So m is going to equal 0 minus 8. And going in the same order, I'm going to do a negative 1 minus 3. A negative 1 minus 3. So when I simplify this, 0 minus 8 is negative 8. Uh, my signs are the same here, so I have a negative 1 and a negative 3. That's going to give me a negative 4. And when I reduce that, it's going to be a positive 2, because negative 4 can go into negative 8 two times. So now I have my m. All right, that's perfect. I'm only halfway there. So now I need to go back to my y equals mx plus b equation and just plug in my missing values. So I'm going to rewrite it down, y equals mx plus b. We just found out let m is 2. And here we can just choose any, any one of these coordinates on the table and plug it in for x and y. I'm going to just pick 3 and 8 just because I feel like it. Um, so I'm going to plug in um, 8 for y and I will plug in 3 for x and then put my plus b down. Okay. So good old fashioned equation, 8 equals 6 plus b minus 6 to both sides, and I should get b to equal 2.
okay? Uh, not done, still need to write the equation, but now I have all my parts, so it should be, it always starts off with y equals m, which we just found out is 2. Put down your x, don't forget your x, and then plus b, which is 2.